Hi everyone, it's Mark from Brave Auto International in Japan. Before we do a road test video, I'll tell you about this one. It's quite uh, special in a number of different ways. Okay, this is a 1998 Daihatsu High Jet. Um, 660cc, 5 speed, 4 wheel drive, um, dump body. Okay, um, it's also only done 2,500 k's from new and it's genuine and I'll show you in a minute and you'll see exactly what I mean. It's absolutely immaculate this vehicle. Okay, um, some of these have electric tip body and some of them have a PTO driven one. Okay, the PTO driven one is actually better than the electric because you can control the speed of the tipping body with the PTO. Whereas with the electric bodies that tip, um, there's only one speed, you see. Okay, um, it tends to be the Suzuki that has the electric and it's the um, Daihatsu's that have the PTO. So I'll just show you around it and you sort of get an idea on how clean it is. It's called a high jet climber. Yeah, if you just look at the, you know, the suspension hangers here, just how clean and tidy they are, you know. All this, you know. You know, I'm going to lift the body up and um, you'll see what I mean underneath. I'll show you in a minute on how to make the body work but I've already set it up to automatically start as soon as I turn the ignition on. Okay now obviously being a PTO one you've got to have the engine running to lift it. Okay and like I say you can control the speed. I've got it on the slowest speed at the moment. Okay, the rear tailgate is automatic, so it'll automatically open. And you can um, switch it so it doesn't open as well. Uh, the sides fold down, as well as you can fold the tailgate down too. See, the tailgate's just opened. Okay, it's almost there. Okay, we'll just switch her off. Close the door. Okay, now if you have a look in here, now you just look at how clean that is. And this is not me cleaning it either. You know, just all the bits and pieces. Okay, like the fuel lines down here, absolutely clean. I don't know what they've been doing with it, bugger all by the looks of it. Okay, things like oh, the back of the lights here, how clean they are, just the fuel cap, you know, it's all nice. Okay, if you want, to, want it so that the tailgate's not automatic, all you do is, see this is spring loaded here, you may be able to see this, it's spring loaded, you just bring this across, okay, and it will actually lock it, okay, so when you tip the body, it, the tailgate won't open, it's, and the, the idea of doing it, some people might think, well why wouldn't you want it to open, because you can tip it and have and shovel off you see if you want to spread some soil sand or whatever anywhere you know so it still holds it in there okay okay this is your um, thing that goes in there so that when your head's under there it doesn't get cut off if it comes down Ok, 
Okay, the battery's in behind here. Like you can't you can't see this stuff, but this is just like new. All of it, you know. Behind the cab here. Okay. Okay, anyway, we'll let this back down. And um, I'll show you a few things. Okay. It's pretty easy to get it to go down. That's it. And here it comes. Okay, just some different features, you know, like like I said, this the sides come down. Okay, undo that there. Very simple, just bear in mind I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. And if you want, you can see this here. Just take the pin out here. Okay, knock that through. And you can take the side gates off if you want. Okay. And you can do the same with the rear. So lift that up, as I said before. Okay, let this down. Okay, now if I tip this body, this tailgate will come off and you can take the tailgate off, you see. And obviously the other side um, gate folds down as well, they ain't gonna muck around doing that. Okay, nice and clean in here. You know, it's, it's had something on here at some stage, but yeah, no. Nah no dents or anything okay we'll put this back up very very simple okay put this in okay and just go back to this side and that's down okay the other thing it's got you know just little features still got all the rubbers so when the gates fall down it's not bang crash or anything you know uh, you've got two storage boxes here which are lockable um, I suppose a bit of show you inside them uh, key. okay so you put your lunch in there if you want. The other, obviously the other one opens as well. Okay, we'll have a look inside. Um, it's also got obviously the rain visors. Okay. Things like door handles. It's nice, you know. I don't know if you can see them behind there or not, where I am looking. It's just all nice and behind there. Okay, uh, door panels, really nice. No seat belts been shut in the door. Uh, common with these is scratches and scuffs there. Okay, there's none. And the other thing common on these is through here. I know you can't tell, but believe me, it smells new in here too. Okay. And that's your PDO for your tipping body. Okay. Okay. Still got the original factory stickers here. Door panels all good. No seat belts shut on it. Okay, you can't see this, but under here it's like new. Original map. Okay, just jump in. Okay, right, we'll just fire it up. Okay. 
Okay, so as you can see, 2,500 uh, Ks. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you can see that down there. Let me just zoom in. See the switch just there? Okay. That's it. On and off. Okay, what that there does, um, when you put this into, uh, what that does, that locks the rear diff, but only locks it in first gear. Okay, and the idea is that you don't have to have the truck in four-wheel drive um, all the time. You can have it in just in two-wheel drive in first gear when you're going to tip and drive away or whatever, you know. Okay, this one here is your um, four-wheel drive switch. So you push that. Okay, now. Right, now if you push that, okay, it lights up on the dash just there. Okay, on and off. Okay. Now over here you've got um, obviously you've got aircon or works as well. Actually, I might leave it on, it's hot in here at the moment. Okay, you've got the original stereo, it's never been smoked in. Okay, you've got five speed manual and you've got high and low ratio for the four wheel drive. Okay, now to tip the body, what you do is this is your PDO engager. Well, sorry, not gauge, it's a tipper. It makes your body go up and down. So in this position, position, it's down. Okay, it's in the middle, obviously. And then that there is raise. Okay. Now, um, what you do is to get the PTO to work, you gotta put this into neutral here. And then you select the gear. So first, second, or third, depending on how fast you want the body to go. So. I've gone for second. Let the clutch out. Oh, sorry, while you're doing all this, you've got to have the clutch in. Okay, so now I let the clutch out and you'll see the body's going up. Okay. Now, okay, let's say you want to drive forward. So what you do is that then you've got to put this into either high or low, okay? Like that, okay, it's in first. And now I can drive forward. Okay, see so it's trying to move. Okay. Now, what I could do is I could lock just the rear wheels if I want to. Okay. So I'll just put all this back, back down. That's in the high. Okay. So that's basically how it works. Okay. I'll just show you up in here whether you're going to see very well. See how clean it is. Okay. Okay, I'll show you the um, in the engine bay, which is actually under the seats. Fold the seat down. Okay. Oh well, you're seeing that in there. Yeah, how clean that is, you know. Okay, we'll just go around the other side. Slatch that back down. side under the latch and the seat forward which is released over here okay there's behind the seat anyway there's your um winder for your um spare okay You can't see as well as I can see here in real life, but trust me, this thing is, you won't find better, eh? 
this is the only re like I don't buy these for stock and this is the only reason I I bought this because of its condition and um, you know I had to pay a lot of money to get it but I'd rather pay a lot of money and have something that's um, really nice you know okay anyway we'll um, hook the camera up inside and we'll take it for a bit of a drive okay everyone we'll get underway with this one Okay, during the um, road test what I'm doing is just making sure, you know, the gearbox is right. I don't know why I'm bothered driving this one, it's um, 2,500 k's. I don't think there's going to be a problem, but anyway. Um, like I said in the walk around video, this is a um, really a one-off vehicle. Like to find a... a a mini truck or care truck that's um, of the sage uh, for one with these K's two the condition is really really hard and then to add tipper body proper tipper body you know not just a tray tipper um, that is really um, yeah a unicorn vehicle it's probably the easiest way to put it I don't know if I mentioned with the um, we're in doing the walk around. The, the tipper body is uh, graded for carrying sand. So what that means is there's no gappings around the um, drop sides or the tailgate. It's it's all sealed when it's all closed. You see, so you can carry sand, um, which is rather handy. Uh, being the five-speed model as well, it's not the lower geared one. Um, you know, you can sit on 80 k's if you wanted to with this. Uh, you can even go a little bit faster if you want to really want to push it. You know, they're not for um, driving across country. You know, um, yeah. Anyway, I know that some people buy these as well for use for like hunting vehicles and um, stuff like that. This this one's no good for that. And, and why I say it's no good is because you're buying or paying for the tipper body, which really you're going to use when you go hunting. I, I don't know, but and and the condition of it's too good. You know, this is for someone. Um, this is suited for some older person. You know likes everything to be nice and polishes everything um, you know and he wants to put sawdust in the back nothing else that's who this vehicle's for yeah it's a shame it should really go in a museum really it's a shame to um, it's a workhorse obviously it's a shame to put it to work Uh, these this well this model doesn't have power steering but it's um they're that light you don't really need it like we've got a mini truck uh, an office mini truck which is uh, 2002 I think it is if I remember correctly and it's got power steering and you wouldn't even know the difference really the only time you would is when you're sitting dead still and you want to turn the steering wheel really sharp it's a little bit harder than what it is without power steering Okay, we'll go 
a slightly different way. Because it's nice and small, you can go anywhere with these. Stay out of the mud there, I don't want to get it dirty. Yeah, so that's 70 k's long there. It's not even struggling, you know. I know for a fact they will cruise at 80 k's and you can get 100 k's out of them. You can actually go a bit more. Okay, it just depends on how much you want to push it. But 80 k's is their sweet point of just plotting, you know, just cruising. Okay, coming back up to the office. Okay everyone, that's your um, 1998 Daihatsu um, Hijet Climber four-wheel drive tipper done 2,539,000 k's now and a super super nice car and um, yeah okay guys I'll see you next time